I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement The top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting For my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey. To start I've already imported the clip and audio into my timeline. Let's begin by creating a new adjustment layer, which I'll name Transform. Simply drag and drop it onto the timeline. Next, zoom in on the timeline to get a clear view of the audio waveform. We'll detect where the bass rises. Click on the audio and press them key to add markers at those points, indicating where the bass increases. Now position the adjustment layer exactly at the location of the first marker. Go to the effects panel and search for the transform effect. Double click to apply it. Then head over to the effect controls panel. Under the transform section, click on the stopwatch icon next to position, scale, and rotation to create initial keyframes. Move a few frames forward and add another keyframe by adjusting the values of these three parameters. Repeat this process to create multiple shake effects. To achieve smoother animation, you can set the temporal interpolation of these keyframes to continuous bezier. For a more realistic look, disable the Use Composition Shutter Angle option. If you increase the shutter angle, you'll notice more blurriness in your results. Now you can apply the same shake adjustment layer to the next marker. Just hold the Alt or Option key, drag and drop it onto the second marker. That will duplicate layer. Now let's discuss the second method. Move the playhead to the third marker and create another new adjustment layer, dragging and dropping it as before. In this layer, we will add the directional blur effect. From the effect controls panel, increase the blur length to your preference. Next, make a cut at every frame. You can do this quickly by pressing Ctrl or Command K after that. Delete every second frame. For the fourth marker, Simply duplicate the same adjustment layer. For the fifth marker, we'll add the initial transform adjustment layer again. Looking at the final result, I notice some borders around the clip. To fix this, you can either increase the scale value of the clip, or give it a more cinematic feel by adding a crop effect. To do this, create a new adjustment layer and place it above the other layers. Then apply the crop effect. From the controls panel, Set the top and bottom crop values to 12%, and this is what you will end up with. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing.